What's up, Scrollgers? It's Derp here again. And um, look, I won the weekly winner um, for second place again. Back to back weeks where I've gotten the second place weekly winner badge. Um, that means now I have one of the first place badges, two of the second place badges, one of the third place badges, and two of the most wins badges. I believe that is what I have. Um, obviously, that's since the weekly winners came out. Um, I have been on those places in the ladder before weekly winners came out. But I was actually, I was at number one, but then Anzi right overtook me towards the end, so well played by him. And today we're going to knock out another one of the trials, and we're going to do the Damage Enigma one, next one on the list. So three Anima Conduits are Anima, Anima, I'm going to Anima. Three Anima Conduits are an intimidating sight, even for the most hardened caller. Stand before you is the power to destroy and summon indefinitely. And the power to destroy and summon indefinitely, if you give him the chance. Probably should be like a comma after indefinitely. Take hold of this battle, but don't grab on too tight. Okay, so... Um, let's see if it is uh, intimidating for a hardened caller like me. So you have to win normally by destroying through idols. And I think... I, I've tried this uh, like once on my alt account, and it worked okay. Uh, I surrendered after a little bit, though. Um... But I have an idea how to beat it. Hopefully it works in this video today. So it's like there's three 10 health anima conduits. And when you destroy one of uh, uh, the opponent's creatures, they all summon like a revenant. A revenant is like a little copper automaton almost. So you really just, the, the way you beat it is you really have to just not destroy the opponent creatures and just destroy those anima conduits first. So, and I think a nice deck with a lot of bulk that can uh, survive revenant hits is a good uh, deck for this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna play Gravelock Energy. I'm just gonna make a few adjustments though. This is the uh, Gravelock Energy I'm using in ranked right now. I'm gonna make a few adjustments. Like, actually, I actually haven't even looked over this uh, yet. I'm gonna put in Copper Automatons. I think those are gonna be good. Um, I do like the. I want. I think I want three Potion Resistance. I want more like attack. You know. I'm gonna put in three Desperation. Another iron whip. Let's see. I will take out other stuff. Um, we'll go to control destroy. Mm, I don't know if I want that. Machination mindset. I think I'm gonna put in. Honestly, machination mindset might work in ranks normally. Uh, I almost want to have some more protection, like a forge, but I don't think I'm gonna need that actually. Hmm. I think that's all I'm going to want to put. Actually, maybe a Solemn Giant could be good for just, like, hitting those things really hard. Actually, no. I kind of like this. Uh, and then I don't think we're going to want Corrodes. Because once we have Board Advantage, we won't need a Corrode to win. Um, uh, Storm Helmet might be useful. What do we not want? don't think Thunder Surge is a good idea. Actually, Thunder Surge might be a good idea. Let's get rid of the Valent Dispersal. I don't think we're going to need to use Valent Dispersals. Uh, how about... No... No Sparks. Because we're not going to be trying to really kill his units. And... No... I want my other creatures. Should I go with no Skull Shrines? I don't know. I think Skull Shrine might be important. Whatever, I'll just take it out of the Skull Shrine and see how it works. Alright, so let's save this as uh, Gravelock's Anima. Alright, and the, of course there will be a uh, paste text in the description below. Um, so you can try this deck yourself. See if you can beat the trial. And let's go into it. So hopefully we can go first. And we do go first, so... Rouge. That's a new av cool avatar head. And I think this is a pretty good hand because I can go Raider, Guard, and then I'll save that Snarl on the two. Oh, no, I didn't even play the Raider. Oh my god, what am I doing? I messed up. I didn't play the Raider. You know what? That's not a huge deal. Let's go ahead and play. I think Snarl Element's going to be good. Just to fill up the board kind of fast. So let me sacrifice. 
get rid of the copper auto. Play the guard. Alright. Yeah, so these things have 11 health, actually. I was wrong. Boss means all that stuff. Let's get rid of the fury and play an omelet. So I th and the creatures they uh, Rouge puts down are not that powerful. I mean, yeah, Harvest is pretty good, but I've seen like Husks they put down and stuff like that. So let's get rid of Machination. So I guess it's fine. I mean, I'm still playing the Raider. Just it would have had like an extra attack off, I guess, or something. Just deal one damage though. And although I could just hit the idol and deal uh, one damage to a random thing, I'd rather just directly hit this because I'm really gonna take that down. Unfortunately, I can't do that unless I have no cards in hand. Okay, monstrosity is there. So now, this is pretty good scroll, but I think I want to get the elder out. And because this monstrosity is in front of that, I think I might move down and try to possibly hit this anima conduit. You can get like a, and he moves there, slayer siege there. So I'm not going to destroy any of these creatures. He's protecting. Oh boy, this is not that good now. Because that means all those things are going to attack me. Um, let's go ahead and just ramp up for more stuff. I, as, as cool as burn is, I think we're going to want to... Uh, I'm going to have to destroy one of these creatures. As cool as burn is, let's get rid of it. Because I'm just going to sift. And I may as well play the Uhu because I can play it this turn. Um... And let's try to take m most of the blow. Unfortunately, it looks like our Snarkle Omelette will probably be destroyed. Alright, so at least these take a little bit of damage. And I am destroying one of these. So that's cool. One of the Revenants. Actually, and our, this thing will actually survive. So those Revenants did not do much to us, but his Harvester does count down. Hopefully it doesn't move the Harvester down. Alright, cool, he does not. Um, and I'll just go ahead and again pump this thing up. Let's see, and outcast, and I could play and then pump again, so that's good. Uh, let's play the outcast down here. Let's do this again. Let's take another outcast. Alright, and I'm not going to hit that, I will hit uh, an idle. Or actually, hitting it does deal with damage to these things, but I don't think I need to. I think I should... What's going to happen? So, that's going to summon one, then this is going to summon one. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hit, but then this, yeah, this harvester attacks. Let's just hit the, let's just hit an idol. Okay, let's just hit an idol. And that will be our turn. Alright, let's continue using that, this snarl omelet thing. Another harvester, that's not too good. You might just have to destroy the harvester. He's filling with the board. And is he, not, is he not protecting this thing? All right, if I can get him, if I can get like a machinator, that'd be good. I can't burn this, unfortunately. Um, how do I want to do this? I have like a lot of resources to play with piece of this uhu. So should I just fill up the board with grave locks? I think that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, we're not going to attack this turn, and we will sacrifice a grave lock because of the Slayer of Siege is going to kill something. Okay, so now I'll deal damage to this animal conduit. And then I will pay two energy. Another elder is pretty good. Let's grab that. And now let's pay another two energy. 
Oh no, I have to play this first. So now it's lot now it's increase the energy. Now let's play the elder. That's now it's seven. It's almost enough to destroy that. Sift. And I'm going to have I'm only gonna have I'm not gonna be able to play either of these. I will play the I'll take the uh outcast and that will be it for me okay so yeah that that omelet really lets you ramp up fast and if I get a thunder surge that'd be kind of cool I would make everything like explode actually it doesn't look like he's connecting all right actually killing something now wouldn't be too heavy is this this revenant wins only two revenants would spawn um, I think I might kill stuff now. Should I Fury? Can I win with a Fury? No, I don't think I can win, but I could. If I Fury, I'll do a lot of damage, that's for sure. Alright, you know what? We're gonna Fury. Let's see what happens here. Let's Fury, then let's do this, grab the Freak, or, yeah, grab the Freak, increase my energy, and now I will... So I want to destroy this as soon as possible. Unfortunately, one of the revenants will spawn, I guess. I do want to deal four damage to that. I think that is worth it. So let's... Yeah, I'll say it like this. And... Then I'll play the Freak. Also, a Revenant won't spawn from this top Atom Conduit because there's no adjacent spot next to this Atom Conduit. And then I'll pay two energy, um, play another Raider, I guess. I'm not afraid of what's going on up here. This Harvester does nothing to me, and this Magishamba attacks out. I mean, yes, the Watcher, he might be able to win with it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I can't, I don't, know, I don't have enough energy to pay again. But, so let's see. So. Okay, so that did spawn revenants, and I guess I should have had the relentless guy going down this road so I could destroy both of these revenants. So that was a little bit of a misplay by me, but I don't think it will matter too much. Oh no, that thing goes down. I think it's okay. We got rid of one of these things. Let's see. Sacrifice the iron whip, thunder surge, or desperation. Um, Thunder Surge is interesting. Should I have desperation here? and just destroy one anima that comes up. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to deal idle damage. And I'm going to sacrifice this Gravelock guard. Alright. Let's see what happens now. So we got rid of one of the conduits. I think we'll be just fine in this match. Another Watcher. And that's it. Okay. Now I should be able to destroy this. Two thunder searches is not too bad. I think I do want two thunder searches actually. Let's see. Uh, two, four. Desperation on this outcast will let us destroy this conduit. Oh no, but actually, 
it'll give us a two-thirds chance to destroy this conduit because an anima might come up in front of that. But I think I'm going to do it again because this anima conduit cannot summon anything. And I will Thunder Surge there this turn. I'm going to keep the other Thunder Surge. So let's... You know, let's Thunder Surge first, see what happens. Let's see if this where this spawns. Nice, up here. Perfect. So now, let's Desperation you. Let's hope this works out for us. So I will... Actually, there's a very small chance that this is going to work out for us. Oh, well. Um, let's see, how do I want this to work? All right, let's see. Yes, so far so good. Oh no, come on. Really close. Now this has one health. Now Thunder Surge does destroy it. And if it connects everything next to him, that's beautiful. Come on, just have it connected to this. Now put now put a creature right there. Oh well. Right, I have to watch out for these watchers, but I'm gonna dispose of them right now. A uh, fury. Let's just go with a thunder surge. See what the heck happens. What does this do? When a lingering spell is played, owners adults are dealt one damage. Right, I'm not gonna play a lingering spell. And now there's four of those. And now do I just fury? Do I win with a fury? Let's see. That would do one dam. Yeah, I do win with a fury. GG. I think. It does one damage and then five and yeah gg so we did it guys that wasn't too hard this is i think one of the easier hard trials you know it's a little bit easier hard trial if you're able to beat it with a semi-normal deck like i didn't have to use like a specific deck like a waking stones deck or a puppet soldier horn of ages deck like wasn't too bad so that is that so thank you all for watching um let's see so yeah it's beaten now and let me know in the comments if it worked for you next time i will probably do voided high guard i heard this one is pretty hard so like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this submit your top plays to nerfthinj at gmail.com and i will see you tomorrow thank you for watching